everyone. Welcome back to uh, another Let's Play-ish kind of video. Uh, this is totally my computer that I use for real in everyday life. Glorious Windows 95 and all of its glory. So I received a comment on one of my uh, Secret of Evermore videos about revisiting Oregon Trail 2. And uh, I thought today would be a, as good a day as any to do something like that. I'm going to try to make this a more relaxed video, uh, taking things a little bit slower and just kind of enjoying the experience. So if you're the impatient sort, it probably won't be your kind of video. There's going to be an attempt, albeit I can almost guarantee a failed one, to be a little bit more serious with this playthrough. Uh, I don't expect that to last, and um, if you expect it to last, I can tell that you're new here. In which case, hello, I hope you're prepared for disappointment. So Oregon Trail 2 actually will run even on modern... Um, I should back up a little bit. This is Windows 95 running inside of a virtual machine. Um, and I do that to get a slightly more authentic experience when you're playing Oregon Trail 2. Now, Oregon Trail 2 will work pretty much perfectly fine in uh, even in modern OSs. Like you can run it in Windows uh, Windows 10. I've even got it running on a Raspberry Pi once. You know, you can do that. But there are certain things like the FMVs that you miss out on when you're when you're not playing it in an actual Windows 95 environment. Those things do not run on modern computers. So we're going to be seeing it with all of its intro cutscenes, with all of its vignettes, I guess you would call it. And uh, we're also going to see the intro video. You, maybe you'll learn something. You're not going to learn anything. Nobody ever learned anything playing Oregon Trail 2. Yeehaw! So imagine it's 1995 and you're in your school's computer lab not doing schoolwork and you're super happy about it. We've already installed this game, so let's go ahead and run it. I'm going to go ahead and stretch the screen out a little bit. So uh, we'll have the full Oregon Trail experience. But this game never ran in full screen even back in the day. And so what you're going to be seeing on your phone or whatever you're watching this is going to be me stretching it out so that it fills the screen. But this never ran in full screen to begin with. So anyway, let's go ahead and watch that intro video and pretend to learn stuff. the United States in the mid-1800s. Ours is a large nation, a young nation full of restless, forward-looking people. As the population grows and our borders expand, thousands are looking west to build better lives for themselves and their families. From all over the country, people from all walks of life are selling nearly everything they own loading their remaining possessions into small covered wagons, leaving friends and relatives behind. They're heading out across the plains to Oregon, California, and other points west, following trails blazed by those who had gone before. Along the way, they explore the vast landscape of North America, they see amazing sights and encounter fascinating people, including those who had called this land their home for thousands of years. It's not an easy journey. It's long and hard. Like my dick. with challenge and danger, disease, Deserts, buffalo stampedes, steep hills, treacherous rivers. Many do not succeed. Oh, we'll be adding to that but list, I promise. The rewards are great. Adventure on the trail 
and opportunity at its end. A new life in a new land. Well, are you ready? Come on, let's go! Yes, raccoon skin hat man. Well, does that make you feel like learning? Me neither. I've said it before, I think, in previous playthroughs I've done of this game, I don't think Oregon Trail by itself is a particularly good game at teaching you things. Because it really doesn't contextualize much of anything for you. It can be a fun game to play to learn with if you're already studying the Westward Expansion or American history in general. And there's some pretty good uh, documentaries and stuff on YouTube that you can watch for free, nonetheless, about that sort of thing. Uh, Ken Burns has some pretty good documentaries. Uh, Ken Burns, The West. Uh, there's also um, a Donner Party a documentary on YouTube that's free. Well, I don't think it's supposed to be free, but de facto it's free. Um, that's also very compelling and fun to watch. So yes, this is uh, Oregon Trail 2. We're going to be attempting to do a high score run. Um, you know how that sort of thing goes. We're probably going to get out into like Nevada and get fired, as things happen to be. Uh, we need a, a good name. We're going to... Okay, I was going to say Bobby, but we're going to be Vavi, because my uh, hand's in the wrong place. Vavi. Okay, Vavi. We're going to be a trail guide. We're going to be a teacher. Because they get the least amount of money, and they have no skills. You hear that, teachers? Mech called you unskilled. And we're going to start off in April. I like April. Um, it's another note. Um, if you're watching this to be a tutorial on how to get high scores in Oregon Trail, uh, that is also a mistake on your part, and you should not do that. Do not do that. I have no idea what I'm doing. I have a very basic idea of what I'm doing. This is going to fail horribly, okay? I'm just going to let you know. This is, this is not going to end well. There will be tears. So... I mistakenly thought, back in the day, that the Sacramento Valley in California was as far as you could go. But actually, the distance to Willamette Valley, or Oregon, is the longest journey you can make in the game. It's longer if you start from, I think, Nauvoo, but you cannot select that city in the earliest start date. So, 1840 was... I guess the earliest date you could say the Westward Movement kind of started, or the Oregon Trail kind of started. I think that was around the time when uh, the Whitmans went and established a mission in Oregon. Uh, I will check this on Wikipedia before I upload the video and probably call myself an idiot somewhere in on the video here, at the annotations. Uh, but I believe that is the case. We're going to have five people come along with us, so that's the most people we can get, and potentially... Uh, more people to die, and the more people who make it there alive, you get more points for that. We got some old people, we got some young people. We have Isaac. He's 30. I can relate. Let's move along, shall we? You're a teacher who has come to Independence in 1840 for the purpose of setting off on a journey west to Willamette Valley. You've brought a small farm wagon, but you still need to buy the other supplies you'll need for your journey. As you wander the streets of Independence, you'll see various stores that should be able to provide you with supplies, provided you have enough cash, which, since you're playing a teacher, you don't. You'll also see people who may be able to give you good advice. So here we are in Independence. It is snowing in April, which is an alien concept to me. It snowed here once, and it shut the entire state down. Most unfortunate. Let's get going. We need to get some animals first. The merchants here in town offer basic packages of supplies, based on the size of one's party and estimated length of journey. Of course, you can shop around on your own or add to the basic set. So, which package would you like? I'm happy with my current package, thank you very much. These are a ripoff. Uh, you should not buy these. Well, I take that back. They're good to buy if you just want to jump into the game really quick. Again. You're in the computer lab at school. You got maybe 30 minutes to play this game. So buy one of these to get things started quickly. But if we're trying to play optimally, we're not going to buy a package because they're overcost and uh, not good. 
You should clearly follow my advice. I'm going to make an excellent package and die of berry berry. All right, so we're going to need some animals. Oxen, generally the best choice, because so they're cheap and they're strong, and you can eat them. I guess you could technically eat your horses too, but the game won't let you. We're going to buy six of those. We got to go do everything's favorite thing in the Oregon Trail, the hunting. So we're going to need to buy some bullets and uh, some gunpowder. Now, one of the issues that I have with the gunpowder, it's a single item, right? So you buy one 25 pound keg of gunpowder and you flip your wagon over in a river and you're fucked because you've lost all of your gunpowder and you can't fire your guns without it. It is most unfortunate. The same thing can happen when you just buy one rifle. Now, if I were a banker or a man that had more money, I would probably just spend more money and buy an extra rifle. You know, you can never have too many guns in this game. You want to have a lot of guns to shoot as many animals as possible. But, since we're a poor teacher, we're just going to stick with the basic set here. One rifle, some boxes of bullets, some gunpowder, and we're going to hope it goes well. If RN Jesus is on our side. Dry goods, a few things we want to get. Food, obviously. I would say... Oh, he doesn't have wagon parts here? Yeah, well, whatever. I'm gonna get some of these things. Some of these things will help with morale. Some of them will just help with other things. Axes make you less likely to get stuck. Butcher knives, I think you have a less chance of getting food poisoning. Uh, coffee mills, coffee pots, all that stuff. A lot of these things are just for morale boosts, right? Uh, we're gonna get some fishing poles here. Or a fishing pole. Every time we stop by a river, we'll have a chance of getting some free food. And I like free food. Uh, same with frying pans. They also help you pre to prevent getting uh, food poisoning and things like that. Just little boosts that help you out. Um, I'm not going to say I notice a drastic difference when I do or do not have things like this. Get some rope. That'll help with climbing mountains and presumably some other things. Same with cooking utensils and all that. A lot of these things just give you like small bonuses. I always buy water kegs because you will get fucked without them. Clothing. So we're gonna, we have, how many people do we have? We're gonna get six sets of clothing. You got one set of clothing, people. Don't spring a hole somewhere awkward or you'll everyone will be looking at your dick on the trail. And we don't want that. We also get enough coats for everybody, see? And these cost a lot of money. We can't eat our clothes. That's most unfortunate. I would love to be able to eat my pants, but I cannot do so. So, I've made the mistake in the past of just buying the cheapest food you can possibly buy, which is, uh, I think, potatoes or flour, something along that line. You will get fucked if you do that. I don't recommend that you do that. You will die of beriberi, which I don't think anyone in the West actually ever died from. But you will die from it if you just buy, uh, if you just buy the stuff to make heart attack, you're gonna get fucked. I guess we should get some coffee to go with our coffee mill and all that. Uh, so I could probably go through that in like a week, so we're gonna get a lot more than that. 20 pounds of coffee. Let's uh, see, cornmeal's another one of those cheaper things you can get. We want to get some dried fruit and vegetables. We're going to get way more than our poor oxen can carry. Yeah, we want to keep these. Keep these. Make sure we have fruits and vegetables available. We can flavor them with bacon. If we have to. And flour is one of the cheapest foods you can get per pound. Uh, unfortunately, you can't live off of it. I've tried. I've tried. And watch the other videos on my channel if you want proof. Actually, don't watch the other videos on my channel. They're shit. So anyway, um, medicine. I don't know what we need. I'm gonna guess. Gotta get some isopropyl. That's the kind you don't drink. We gotta get some other kind of alcohol too. That's the kind you can drink. I don't know what this is, but it's named Dover. Like that uh, Eric Johnson song. So we're gonna go with that. Uh, I like peppermint. I don't know that it's a really... Oh, spearmint, too. we got to have some variety, the red and the green. It's Christmas time. It's not really. It's January, but who cares? You know, we need a couple gallon jugs of whiskey. Medicine for the soul, really. It's not so much medicine for your body, but for your soul. Witch hazel. I don't know what that's for, either. We'll get it. I'm a real doctor. Where's my spittoon? There we go. 
Okay, um, I've done no planning, and I'm already done. How much we got? We got almost 5,000 pounds. As far as I know, the, the game doesn't tell you what you're capable of carrying. So, we're just gonna guess. We can't leave because we don't have enough draft. Yeah, we got too much shit. I thought that might be the case. So we're already hitting a little bit of a brick wall here with having too much crap. Let's see if we can push out our luck a little bit and get some more oxen to pull this crap. I would rather not get rid of the food because I tend to run out um, when we're doing Okay, we do have enough now. So none of these are particularly big. If you go in later years, you'll get wagon trains that have literally hundreds of people in them. And these are all very small. Just 26 other people. We're going to go with the biggest one we can. Because that will give us more trading partners, I believe. But you know, there's not a lot of people going out this early in the, in the Oregon Trail's history as it is. So let's just go. Let's get out of here. So since we're starting in the winter time, most of these are going to be frozen over. And now that we're playing on a Windows 95 emulator, we can see the cool little cutscenes. Yeah. Well, that's the reason why we're playing this on a uh, virtual machine. Aren't you glad you got to see that cutscene of me crossing the river? When on your deathbed, you're gonna wish you had those five seconds back. Just so letting you know. This is so weird to me. Like I said, the high of 39 in April is like... It's already getting uncomfortably hot by that time in the year around here. I don't know if that's the same up in Missouri, but uh, it's rather uncomfortable in April around here. And in fact, it's uncomfortable most of the time. It's actually kind of cold right now, relatively speaking, of course. Um, not this cold, but actually it's about this temperature right now, but that's January. <laughs> hey guys, you want to see my blue mound? <laughs> okay, moving on. Okay, and there's a little vignette I was talking about. You can see the little wagon moving along the, the little prairie of pixels there. It's all very nice. So we come to our first river crossing where we have to actually make a decision here. So typically speaking, if this is three feet and under, you can ford it. Uh, otherwise, you'll have to Chevy it. Okay, moving on. This will give you a few minutes to like drink that in, but we're ready to move on. We can caulk the wagons and float since this is over three feet. And that should allow us to get past. We want to avoid these little uh, whirlpools. And by we want to avoid, I mean you have to hope that the RNG is not going to fuck you. Because I have no control over this at all. Those are actually all pre-rendered cutscenes. You can't actually do anything to affect them. So just kind of, you watch it and bite your nails. And hope that you don't flip the wagon over and lose your only source of gunpowder. And we can ford this river here. As it's two feet and under. Or three feet and under rather. And we made it across just fine. Scott Spring! This game had a lot of really cool stuff back in the day. We don't need to talk to you. Too many people at the river. All you can do is wait. Wait, 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 wait. How many fucking days is it gonna take us to get through here? Okay, it's 1984, or 1840, sorry. <laughs> 1984, we're a little, bit, uh, a little bit late on the Oregon Trail business there. Um, let's go ahead and move on. This game came in some really cool packaging uh, back in the day. It had a nice little wooden box that came along with it. it. came with a guidebook and a manual and all that fun business. Really cool packaging. Uh, video games always used to come in like really cool stuff back in the day. Frederick, no! I don't know anything about Scarlet Fever, and I can't even ask for advice on this one. Hmm. Well... Keep, keep him cool and moist. Uh, I guess to give him more water. And we'll rest. So you can actually rest anytime anyone gets sick, and it does increase their chance of getting better. No guarantees, of course. We have no meat. Which we need to fix that. Let's go ahead and let's go hunting here right quick. Everyone's favorite thing to do in this game. And I remember when I was a kid and people would play this in the computer lab. They basically just went hunting the entire time. No one actually ever got to Oregon. Except me, because I was a dork. Alright, that's two. I think that's enough. Probably all we can carry. 
firing two times, you shot 273 pounds of game, and you were only able to carry back 208 pounds of it. You really should have brought someone along with you to help you carry more meat, but I guess everyone was lazy. So I don't know if that meat... I don't know if the game actually models decay, right? So if you have fresh meat in your camp, I don't know if it will go bad on you. I don't know if the game actually models that, or if we just have 200 or something extra pounds of food and, it, and we just eat all of it. Because you burn through that really quick, I've noticed. But yeah, everyone always would spend the entire uh, 30 minutes or an hour or whatever we had in the computer lab just doing the hunting and whatnot. So we're going to try and take things slow, because if you rush things too much, morale will fall. And if you're not familiar with this game while you're playing as a trail guide, if morale slips too far, they will just fire you and the game is over. Um, I guess they're okay not having a trail guide. Um, they're just going to fire you out here in the middle of Nebraska, and I guess they'll figure out the way to get there on their own. I don't know. I don't know what their plan is. Well, this is Plum Creek, I tell you what. Let's get going. Now we're getting into more seasonable temps. How? How did you do that? What did you do? I got some duct tape. Okay, let's trade. What do you want? Sure, I'll give you a spare wagon tongue for your rifle. You know, I have a rifle and you don't. Maybe, maybe you want to just consider giving me that spare wagon tongue if you know what I'm saying. You, you know it's good for you. And what else? One ox. Seventy-six... <laughs> Sacks of flour. Oh, now she's just being a bitch. Okay, you can have my winter coat in May, you fool. I think we are coming up on one of the more notable uh, landmarks on the Western Trail, Chimney Rock. Uh, pretty much every uh, settler that uh, went out west and kept a diary would mention Chimney Rock in their diaries. And it is still there today, of course. There's actually some pretty cool little uh, little videos of it, of people flying a drone up to the top of it and whatnot. Some really cool stuff if you're interested in the minutia. Which I certainly am. I'm playing Oregon Trail 2 in 2021, or 2022. It's already been another year. But they all start to feel the same after you get past like 20 years old or so, so... What? Well, pick it up. I'll just leave it there. That's the kind of thing I would do in real life. Not in a game. Go pick up that shit. Okay, we're out of meat again. Let's try anchoring our wagon and going down that way. And since we're out of meat, I guess we'll go hunting again while we still can. Because I know the game's going to take away my ability to do so at some point. I have zero faith that it's going to actually let me keep the rifle the entire playthrough. Damn it. Fuck you. Oh, no. God damn it. Well, lads, that's about how it goes. We want to shoot something big. I don't want to waste my time with birds. I mean, birds are not going to feed the family. And we need a big old burr or something. So I've heard that if you use a shotgun, you actually have a better chance of killing things like the rabbit and birds, of course. Not that you would want to do that, because they don't provide that much meat. Oh, dear. Okay, we, we've murdered enough animals for today. Firing an embarrassing nine times, you've shot 199 pounds of game. We're still gonna short you though, because fuck you. So I did not buy a rifle or shotgun sheath, which means I have an increased chance of... Ah, uh, buffalo stampede. I really want to just continue to see if anything happens, but this is the best time to uh, rack up some big numbers and do irreparable harm to the environment. So let's do that. It uh, ricocheted off the buffalo and probably killed me. You can usually only carry one of these back, by the way. There is no point in me doing this whatsoever, other than 
yeah, you know, manifest destiny and all that business. I wanted to get a big number. Look, I've fed the entire wagon train, all right? Firing an embarrassing 16 times, you shot 2,848 pounds of game. But you could only carry back 217 pounds of it, you fucking piece of shit. If you continue to hunt in this area, game will become scarce. We really hope you feel guilty about what you've done. So as we, we are now approaching Chimney Rock, finally. But we gotta pause at Courthouse and Jail Rocks, just in case. And there's Chimney Rock, a big wiener of stone pointing up at the sky in triumph. Another thing you can do to boost morale is talk to people, and sometimes they have interesting things to say, but usually it's just garbage. Goodness, have you ever seen anything like that before? Like a stone wiener? You hear stories and see pictures of things like this, but it's nothing compared to actually seeing the real thing. Tell me about it. My father, who journeyed out in these parts back in the 30s, says we ought to keep moving all the time. Winter will be coming before we know it. It's May. We got time. Who are you? Chimney Rock by Moonlight is awfully sublime. Tell me more. Last night, some Indians came to our wagon with fish to exchange for clothing. We bought a number. They make for a good change of diet. The clothes or the fish? The Indians understand swap and no swap. They seem most anxious to get shirts and socks. Cool. Well, I'm done talking to these people. Let's get going. Scott's Bluff? Is that like Scott Springs? He's named after the same Scots? I don't know. Robodeau Pass! I know for sure one of these people actually references this by name, but he's not here. I don't recognize this guy. I am Chi Chi Star. My name is Counting Coup. To, to you, we are the Cheyenne. Explain. What more do you want to know? I don't know. It's an educational game. You are traveling the Great Road West. Keep going on your way. My people do not mind you passing through our land, but do not stay here. Cool. Well, I've had enough now. Let's get going. Usually there's a guy at Robodeau Pass that actually uh, explains who it's named after because it's an educational game. But I guess they don't want to do that this time around. And I talk about the computer lab uh, back in the olden days. There was quite a few games we used to play uh, back then. I don't remember, um, I don't think I learned anything playing any of those games. But we had a few things we did, like, uh, oh! I thought that would work. I guess I should have uh, cocked the wagon and float. So we lost one of our bullets. I can understand losing stuff in a river. You know, it's just floating away, we're not gonna get it back. Let's keep going. There was an open studio where we used to make, like, pseudo-web pages back in the day. And this was in the mid-90s, too. It's kind of, uh, It's kind of interesting how fast everything really just developed with computers and such. I mean, even in my lifetime, it's, it's, it's ridiculous how much more powerful computers we have now are, back even to what I was using as a kid. Like, this is literally pretending to be the computer I had as a kid. So we're here. Uh, we actually got some money for being a trail guide. That's one of the only benefits you have to being a trail guide is they pay you a salary, which I think is equal to our starting money if you're a teacher. So we can now purchase some more food, so hopefully we won't starve. Meat is good for morale, I believe, and it's also good for a variety of your diet. So we don't have the berry berry problem, where we get berry berry sick and then berry berry die. Uh, most unfortunate. Things are quite a bit more expensive here out at the uh, forts, as you can see. Oh, we can get 20 sacks of or 20 pound sacks of taters. Now, potatoes will stay off the berry berry. You can still die from that, but uh, you know it's cheap food. We live off potatoes and flour. We can batter fry our potatoes. Uh, let's see. I think we lost. We, we don't have any coffee beans right now. It actually tells you how much you have over here. So, let's see. I was hoping they would have some kind of vegetables or something, but I don't see that here. We can get some salt poke. 
Uh, I guess we really like pork around here. We get some ham as well. Well, we don't need vegetables. We're just gonna have pork and potatoes and some flour. I'm not even gonna do anything with the flour. You're just gonna straight up eat it. Let's get on out of here. Register Cliff. I believe this is a place where people would often uh, sign their names when they were heading out west. Thus the name. We're not gonna do that. We don't believe in vandalism around here. The game is now moving noticeably slower for some reason. Look, there's- how many of us even are there? There's like ten other wagons. And I'm the trail guide, I'm going ahead. I'm gonna let someone else go in front. I think we can crank up the simulation speed a little bit. I was trying to keep it slow enough that I would, like, have time to commentate and whatnot because I'm used to events interrupting me all the time. Hailstorm! Let's go ahead and wait that out. Ayer's Natural Bridge. Now let's just naturally cross over it then. Broken wagon wheel. I got the- oh! Our duct tape method worked! We've already ate all of our damn meat. We're gonna have to go shoot stuff. We don't- <laughs> we're out of bullets. I knew that was gonna happen at some point. I told you it was gonna happen at some point. Well, I don't care enough to trade for it. We'll just- We'll just have no meat. We ate all of our pork. Now we're fucked. Float. Wow! <laughs> Will of Springs! It is now Independence Day. This gives you a nice little morale boost, even though our morale is already high. I would kill to have a high of 62 in July. Just putting it out there. Bad mosquitoes. Nothing you can really do about that. Just keep going and hope you don't get malaria. This is the Devil's Gate. It's where he keeps all the devil's food. Let's go talk to some people. How you doing? I think it's time we be moving on now. This is an educational game. You're supposed to tell me some factoids about Devil's Gate. Well, did you learn something? Because I didn't. Can we quit breaking the wagon, please? Sure, you want my rifle? I don't have any bullets. Take it. Shove it up your ass while you're at it. Okay, so I think we want to go... Deep sand route is exactly what it sounds like. There's quicksand. This requires you to take three river crossings. I usually do three crossings. Let's have a little fun. We'll go with quicksand route. Two and a half feet. Ford it. No. Nah. Fuck. The game already decided before it played the cutscene we were going to flip over, but you have to watch it and hope. We lost some of our rope. Somehow a fucking flying a frying pan floated away. We lost a fishing pole to the river. There's some irony in that, I'm sure. Horus has suffered internal injuries. Not Horus, high water. Coughing, difficulty in breathing. He's got the COVIDs. Let's get to make him comfortable, I guess, and keep on moving. Ah, uh, dust. I love this picture. I think I say this every single time I play this game, but I, I love this picture. Because when I was a kid, I thought this was like the cow's legs, right? So he had like the cow on his head because he's like Hulk strong. <laughs> he's got the cow on his head to cover him up from the dust storm. He doesn't, but that's what it looks like to me. I guess we'll wait for the conditions to improve. And uh, if I'm not playing as a trail guide, I don't normally do that. I normally just continue on because I'm in a hurry. But you really, you lower people's morale when you do that. Let's put our weakest animal up front. Sydney, no! Okay, and you can actually, this is where you get to make one of your first decisions as a trail guide here. If you take three rivers crossings, you will end up going backwards. The game doesn't tell you that. You kind of have to memorize where you're supposed to be going, right? So, don't pick that. We want to keep going towards South Pass. <sighs> Let us continue up the hill. It actually worked! I guess we're just gonna keep waiting through the fog. We need to go hunting again when we have an opportunity to do so. Oh, we can't. We can't. We don't have a gun. 
I ain't got no gun. I can't even kill myself when things go bad. Right, we made it through there. God damn it, quit. Because you have one wagon, people. You gotta take care of it. I'll trade you for one ox. No. Now you're gonna be you haggled with her enough, she's gonna be a bitch about it. No. I'll find someone else. How you like that? One winter coat? You got a deal. I've never bathed in it. So anyways. Have some... What is this? So we don't have... We know, we don't know what this is. If you're a doctor, you have a better chance of identifying ailments. Also, sometimes you can kind of cheat and hit a good advice and it'll basically tell you what it is. I need rest. Need rest. Lots, of water, Lots of water and some salt. And some salt. Might be scurvy? Well, well, we're surely we're seeing sure the, seeing elephant, the now. elephant now. I suppose, I suppose the, only the only thing we can do is rest, rest and take care of ourselves before, before this thing gets out of hand. Oh, do? he drank the poo-poo water. Like wildfire. We can't. Um, here's some peppermint, I guess. Dry sandy! <laughs> that doesn't look dry to me. It looks like the opposite of dry. Morale's high, though. We're all dying, but morale's great. I love it when our family's dying miserably. Here's the Green River. Uh, you may put the CCR song on in the background if you like. I'm not gonna do it. So I think we're about to see our last bit of civilization. <laughs> you ever seen my church butt? <laughs> it's butte, not butt. Name Rock. Black Ford's Bend. Okay, so um, you can take the Salt Lake alternative route. Uh, you shouldn't, but you can do it. Actually, I believe at this point, Salt Lake City does not even exist. So there's not even that as an alternative uh, place to get supplies. In later years, though, Salt Lake City is a pretty good place to resupply if you need to do so. Uh, we're going to head for the last bit of civilization before Oregon, which is the road to Fort Hull. And you make a little wiener in the trail, which is nice. Anyways. Oh, some rocks have fallen. Time to get out the pickaxe. We actually made it! We didn't even, why did I buy a pickaxe? Uh, seven feet deep. That is a that is a deep-ass river, I tell you what. Don't. Not the whirlpool, man. I've had enough. Big. <laughs> some of these names, man. It's a, it's a big hill. Uh, we call it the big hill. Ah, Soda Springs. The Coca-Cola is bountiful in these parts. So, Fort Hall, which I believe exists at this point in time. <sighs> Fine, we'll let the cows rest. It's already August, though. We don't want to get fucked. We just stopped a day ago! Resting up, you get another day, but that's all you're getting out of me. Okay, Ford Hall. Well, this is our last bit of civilization, folks, before we make the long, uh, the long of it. We should still have plenty of money, so we should be able to get a, um, a decent amount of supplies here while we have the opportunity to do so. No, we don't need to go to the blacksmith. Supplies, yes, my favorite. So, let's see. We'll make sure we have plenty of our uh, staple foods. The most flour the money can buy. Grease, we should have bought this way back in the day, but this will actually help you with um, wagons breaking and whatnot. No point in getting hunting knives anymore. Sacks of oats, I think that's another. Ooh, god damn! That was some expensive oats. Mm, so they don't have a lot to sell either. Like, you only can buy seven of these here. Presumably, they don't want to sell out their entire stock, either. Whew! This is good. You gotta have something better than that. Sacks of- ooh, we can still get sacks of taters. They're cheap. And sacks of rice. Uh, neither one of those will help us with the berry-berry problem, of course. So we can get some big old sacks of taters. For cheap. Uh, get some more rice. We need some more ropes. Yeah, we can always hang ourselves if things go badly enough. Um, 
salt pork. That should help us not die. I like not dying for the most part. We've <laughs> someone's walking around here naked. You know, get some more clothes. Probably, I mean, you know what? That's you guys aren't worth it. You can just have your wiener flopping around. I don't care. No, I'll put a little fig leaf over it or something. I don't know. Um, but we drank all the whiskey, so that's good. Hmm. I would really like it if you had some kind of like dried vegetables or something. I don't remember off him what pemmican is. But we'll buy some anyway because it's cheap. That's the spirit, right? Um. Only thing they have is onions. And they don't have a lot of onions. And I don't think those onions will keep forever either. And I guess we'll just get all the onions we can while we're here. I don't know if you guys noticed, but my mouse is actually incredibly sensitive because of how zoomed in all this shit is. Alright, kiddos. I think we're about ready to go. It's, uh, from here's the long haul. We gotta make it all the way to Oregon and not die. No one's died yet, though. And I don't think the game will let me save scum. Oh, we can actually, we can save. I can save scum. <laughs> Uh, this wasn't me. This was uh, some four-year-old I let play on my computer. I would I would never name something that like that. Okay, let's keep let's keep going. These are the American Falls. I tell you what, two and a half feet. We can just walk right on through that. Admire all those fine pixels in the water. And in case you. <laughs> So I told y'all we was going to Oregon, but I've decided we should go to California. I hope y'all's okay with that. You will lose points for that, by the way. We're gonna go ahead and continue on that Oregon trail. It is the name of the game, after all. So I never really find it all that helpful to check the conditions of the hill. You either make it up or you do not. I have not figured out the secret to uh, doing mountains, unfortunately. He's doing a mountain. Kanaka Rapids. Oh, fuck my ass. I just remember we have to do the fucking... There's a fucking uh, arcade game you have to play. To not die. We have to do the river rafting because it's 1840. Alright. Again, there's not that many people here. I don't know how we can get thick dust from other wagons. Stranger. Oh, strangers out in the middle. Out in the middle of this part of the country at this time of year. Now, I just realized this is not a role playing game, but that is kind of suspect. What should we do, people? I think we ought to go up to them and say howdy. They may be in need of help, or they may be able to help us. If you're gonna say howdy, capitalize it properly. Thank you very much. Well, let's go talk to him. The strangers left and told you to fuck off. All right, we have the southern alternate route and the road to Fort Boise. I don't remember what way to go, actually. I don't believe there's another fort out here, actually, but I guess we'll try Fort Boise. I don't... I remember Fort Hall being the last bit of civilization this far out. It has been a while. Fucking hell. We lost... Not our peppermint. We didn't lose too much, I don't guess. Isaac almost drowned. Isn't Isaac like the 15 year old? Come on Isaac, you can't be drowning. You're too young for that. You're the only one here with energy left. Register. What? There's another register rock? Okay. Bonesville Point. I'm not even gonna talk to people anymore. I'm done learning. Wait for them conditions to improve. It's, uh, it's getting to be September. I'm getting a little nervous. I got to be. Oh, we have another fort. I was incorrect. This, I told you not to listen to me for advice. If you've been listening to me for advice, that's your fault. You should have known better. 
All right, what do we got? We don't have a whole lot of money left at this point. I do believe extra money will be turned into points, but I'm far more concerned about actually making it to Oregon in the first place. Make sure we got plenty of flour. Uh, how are we doing on meat? We can't be doing that great. We're gonna get scurvy at some point. I can almost tell you we're gonna get scurvy at some point. Oats are way too- why are oats so goddamn expensive? Actually, you know what? I think oats are for horses. I think the oats are for horses, that's why. I don't even know if you eat the oats. I mean, in real life you could eat the oats, but I don't know if you do in the game. Whew. Dim is from expensive onions, I tell you what. Uh, let's get some more cheap food while we can. Every little bit helps, right? I'm pretty sure this is the last bit of civilization we're gonna see. I've said that before, though, so maybe don't listen to me. There'll be Fort fuck you in the ass, because it just wants to make me look stupid. <laughs> so let's get on. Fort Boise, we're good to go. The final Snake River Crossing. Let's float. So yeah, we have to do that little arcade game. But I think I can save Scummit, so... We should be good if we make it that far. East Cal Hollow! We only go to Farewell Bend. South Alternative Route, I think, is another one of those trap options that will take you, uh... Backwards. And generally, I don't think it's a good idea to try and take shortcuts. You don't want to go Donner Party on us now. Wait for this to improve. We're, do we're, make we're doing a lot better than I expected. I almost think I'm not recording. <laughs> He's got a concussion. Um, I guess we'll rest here. We gotta, you gotta pick up the pace, boys. Or we're gonna get, we're gonna get fucked by the winter. It's September. It's already in the 50s. I don't know what that feels like. Doing good. We got, I think, one or two more maps left. Um, okay, we made it down. See, when you have it on fast speed like this, you don't even get to really watch the vignettes. Unfortunately, I'm not patient, so... The river seems pretty tranquil. Making good progress here, though, guys. I'm actually very impressed with how we've done so far. Uh, anchoring is usually the safest option, I believe. Oh, we can go to Fort Walla Walla! Or we can take- oh, you know, we have another fucking fort. You know what? I don't- I don't know what I'm talking about. Just don't listen to me. We'll take the, this nice civilized path. Oh, here we are with the, uh, the history stuff. We can do more history stuff again. Nope! I done goofed. Alright. Let's visit the mission here. This is one of the historical sites in the game. The Whitmans, as I mentioned, were... And they, they established a mission out here in Washington country and were um, essentially trying to convert the local Indian population. It didn't end well for them, by the way. They were... Uh, there's It's called the Whitman Massacre for a reason, all right? <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the mission. We're so pleased to see you. Howdy! I'm Narcissa Whitman, wife of the doctor. This is our Methodist mission to the local Indians, where we instruct them in the faith and tend to their illnesses. Do you have any advice? Please stay a while. If you have any sick among you, bring them on in. We also have food and some supplies to help you on your way. Good day. And you can actually talk to, um... Oh, you can, you can buy stuff here. Where's the doctor at? No, no, please step back. Don't come any closer. This poor soul has the measles, and we don't want it to spread. If we're not careful, it can spread like wildfire. Tell me more. I'm Marcus Whitman, missionary to the local Indians. My wife and I founded this mission several years ago. We're here to bring religion, civilization, and healing to this distant land. 
And he talks like he's in an educational video game. Let's step outside. This is the sick area, and it's best for both our patients and for you not to be here. If anyone with you needs medical attention, I'll be glad to do whatever I can. Good day. So yeah, it did not end well for them. We're gonna go ahead and turn again. This should take us back to go in the correct direction. Fort Walla Walla. We don't have any money left anyway. And it's already October, so let's get going. Uh... I could be making a mistake here. Let's try this. I hope we're not gonna end up going in the wrong direction. In fact, I'm gonna... I'm gonna save Scum a little bit here. I think I did the exact same thing before because of that, that file save name. Let's go ahead and ford this river. I think I might be going the wrong direction. I'm a little bit confused now. See, that's Fort Road, Fort Tarala Walla. So we've already been that way. So if we go that way, we're just gonna end up going in a little circle here. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. Road to the Dales! Okay, we're good now. I'm a real trail guide. <laughs> this echo got a little cut off there. Okay, I should have looked at the map. It tells you I could have seen that. Four Mile Canyon. I wonder how long it is. McDonald Ford on the John Day River. There better be a McDonald's there in real life. This is saying. Okay, I think we're gonna make it there before we get fucked. Biggs Junction. Doing good, people. Doing good. It's all gonna work out just fine. We're gonna make it just fine. Uh, just continue up the hill, then. Ropes just complicate the thing. <clears throat> Alright. So here's that arcade section I was talking about. We do not have the money. Actually... Actually, let's ask for dollars. We don't need anything anymore because we're pretty much already done, right? Someone's got to have some oop dollars. Sure, you've got. Oh, man. You're just going to fuck me, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I can't trade anything for $70. Let's try it one more time. Otherwise, you might have to see me in some hot arcade action, and I don't think anyone's quite ready for that. Alright. So... This was an area where people had to literally raft down the Columbia River. Um, in, a, in subsequent years, a toll road was built, specifically by someone who didn't want to have to deal with that. And, uh, the Barlow Toll Road. That does not exist in 1840. And because we are broke, we can't just pay someone to do it for us. So we have to do this little arcade section where uh, we can fucking die for real. All right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a little cheating here in case this doesn't work out. But so far, I have not had to use any of my saves. So uh, with any luck, we'll be good. I think we can control this with the mouse here. These are high-end graphics, people. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. You gotta avoid the whirlpool. This is totally how rivers work. Uh, I believe there's a map on the uh, right side of the screen that I can't look at right now because I am really busy trying not to die horribly. I don't know how many times you uh, can flip over before you lose. I'd rather not have an asterisk next to this playthrough, though. Fucking hell. It's been so good, people. We can't fail now. Ah. Lost his wall. Who gives a shit? Portage around the rapids. Oh, I think we gotta do it again. You just thought you were safe. Oh, come on. 
Oh my god. Like I'm playing an educational game because I'm not good at this kind of stuff. It's like you're playing adventure games and them having arcade section. Oh my Jesus Christ. Is this the Devil's River? Okay, well, we drowned. <laughs> That's most excellent, I think. Um, Alright, well, um... For some reason, I can't load a game. I don't... Oh, uh, I guess you gotta, you gotta use the big button. You gotta use the big button or it's not happy with you. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now we gotta do this all over again. This is as much of a pain in the ass as it looks like. So, we probably should have maybe tried the portage around the river thing. That might have been a better option for us. Fuck, fuck you and your, fuck you and your rock. This is great commentary, I know. You forgot to clip out one of those pixels in your sprite, by the way. It's gonna irritate me every time I look at it. You can. We're doing even worse this time. You. Really? I don't think you have to actually click. You can just kind of hold the mouse in a direction and take up religion, because that's what you're gonna need. That pixel makes me angry. Fucking. Mmm. Mmm. Hmm. Well then, uh, we're gonna we're gonna try this again. Yes, this is great content. I know. Um, I'm doing this on purpose to show you what happens when you lose. You die. Your your journal unceremoniously ends. Come on. Okay. And I hold it that way. Fucking hell, man. Hold it this way so you can sail through the rock. And I. I guess I need to turn it a little bit faster. Well, I do love arcade sections in my, uh. in my Oregon trails. Unfortunately, I think this remains intact even if you do play it on modern OS's. This is a, a bona fide part of the game. Uh, well, that was much easier than what I was trying to do. Alright, well, it's going better this time so far. Funny, I don't think running into the land over here actually hurts you. You just can't run into anything along the way. Boom! Ha! <laughs> oh, that was great. Okay, well, we'll try portage around the rapids this time. See if I don't get fucked. I don't want to resume rafting. I don't want to resume rafting. I'm done. I'm done. I've done my. I've done my time, and I want out. Yep, I clicked on the desktop. Alright, kids, I think we got it this time. I think you weren't supposed to try to sail through that one particular part of the river. I mean, that's the enforced learning business. Historically, people on the Oregon Trail would get out of the river at that point because it was too dangerous. Poseidon, the Lord of Oceans, will really fuck you in this river. We make it. I don't know who cares. Fort Vancouver. <laughs> can, we just, can we just let it be over, please? God. Oh, I'm so done with rafting. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, 
Okay, apparently, look, one of my passengers was doing that whole uh, cover my eyes thing. Alright, kids, I think we got it. I think we got it. I don't fucking know anymore. Nope. Oh, you put that there on purpose. You did that on purpose because you're an asshole. I think that was the rock that did us in last time. Oh, my, oh get, fuck you. Ah, my penance has been paid. We've reached the Willamette Valley. Let us stake our land claim. Register of the Land Office. I hereby certify this application is for lands of the class which the applicant is legally entitled under the Appropriation Acts of Congress. And that there is no prior adverse rights to the same, I hereby designate the applicant as the sole owner of this many acres of designated land on this claim. Thank you. What's my final score? It better be big. Six people in good health. My cash, one dollar. We're rich. One wagon, nine draft animals, other supplies, unused skill points, year of travel. Look at all this shit. Duration penalty negative five. Go fuck yourself. Wagon train status, 1814. Subtotal, and then it gets multiplied by five because we're a teacher and teachers suck. In, in the game, not, not in real life. I, I didn't mean that. Anyways, we got 30,855 points, and we can see what lies ahead. Vavi settled in the Willamette Valley of Oregon in 1840, building a home on 1,742 acres of land. Despite some hardships in the early years, Vavi proved an extremely prosperous, steadily acquiring more land and becoming a leader in the growing community. During and after the Civil War, Vavi became, an act became active in raising money for the widows of soldiers and disabled veterans. For the these and other civic activities, Vavi was awarded a citation and a commemorative plaque by the President of the United States. We are we're good people. Are you sure? Yes. We, I beat my previous record. Excellent. Uh, except that Butts was not me. Yeah, you should, I wasn't Butts. That, that was some four-year-old who was playing on my computer. That, that wasn't me. But we have set the high score, uh, you know, on this personal computer. There's people who have higher scores, I'm sure. But I'm going to say I had the highest score in Oregon Trail 2 because, because I want to. And then that's, that's the only rule I need to play by. Anyway. That's been another adventure in the Oregon Trail. One of my better runs. I'm kind of happy with it. We beat out butts. As always, thank you very much for watching. I hope it provided some entertainment for you on these lonely winter days. You have fun with your life, and thank you for coming along. It's been quite the adventure. You take care of yourselves, guys. Good night. Quit touching yourself. I can watch you mess.